how to claim ownership of a Google business listing. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can claim a Google business listing. So let's get into it. Now, to get started, first off, you're going to search for a business on Google, whatever kind of business it might be. If you find your business, it's already listed on Google and you are not the one that created the listing. So I'm just searching for shoe stores and I'm going to click on more places or you can search for anything basically and you're going to find different listings. And now you can see on your left, I have so many different kinds of listings so I can select whatever listing I want let's say I'm gonna go with this listing so if I click on this listing and I'm like hey this is my store I haven't created this someone else is using my store's name then what you are going to do to claim ownership of that listing is first off when you click on the listing this will give you the details of the listing and then what you're going to do is you're gonna find just below the phone number you have these two edits that are available so suggest an edit or own this business so you're gonna click on own this business over here and once you click on own this business then this pop-up menu will appear where they will ask you if you manage this business update info and more or if you want to just click on manage now or i own or manage another business so i'm going to click on manage now and then what you're going to do is you're going to review your business address whatever kind of address it might be so we're just going to continue on over here and then what this does is uh, you're going to get a verification code. So you have to choose a way to verify. Now, if you are the call, a number has been added on that business, they're going to add that or you're going to click on more options. So if they have added their own phone number into your business's profile, then what you can do is you can click on other options and view other options like postcard. So what this will do is whenever your business has been claimed by someone else, instead you will be sent a code uh, via postcard card so this will be sent to your business location the location that was added over here that you're claiming then you're just going to enter your own contact name so whatever is your contact name then you what you're going to do is you're going to get a card in the mail you're going to receive a postcard via google they will send you a physical postcard into the location and within that there will be a verification code and you're just going to input that verification code to receive ownership of your business so you're just going to click on post over here and just like that you're going to click on continue and just like that you're going to begin editing your information as well so if the information added was incorrect you can add all of that and you can customize all of your information for your business as well but i'm just going to skip that and your edits will be visible once you have been verified as the owner so you can see over here that this was the uh, listing that was claimed now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search for clothing brands and i'm going to click on more places and i'm just going to show you guys once more how to do this so you're just going to take whatever location you have so let's say this is our brand over here and then you can see this is what the uh, listing is currently like this listing already has the owner and you can see they are not allowing edits on this listing so let's say that you open up your listing and you find that someone has already verified it so there are a lot of people that could usually verify your listing sometimes uh, former employees let's say a person that used to work for me uh, created the listing and they have ownership of the listing that could be a possibility sometimes random people just click on own this business and claim ownership of a business uh, that is also another possibility so there are multiple different possibilities and let's say if you have this kind of situation where it has already been claimed what you're going to do is you're going to go on to business.google slash create so you're going to go on to this link over here and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in your business name so i'm just going to enter the business name and then unless this has been thoroughly verified you're going to get this page over here so someone else may manage this business profile so you can see this is the basic information that is being sent so this profile has or this listing has already been uh, verified by this email but you can still click on request access over here and then you're going to ask the what kind of access you have so let's say you are ownership and then you can add your relationship to the business which is as the owner you can add your contact name and then you're going to add your contact information and and then you can also uh, choose to let the owner see your public profile information if you want but you're just going to click on jane doe and we're going to click on over here we're going to click on submit and you're going to enter your own phone number as well and then what this will basically do is that this person whoever has already claimed ownership
ownership, the person that had claimed ownership, this email, uh, they will get an email telling them that someone else has uh, claimed ownership of the business and then they can choose to verify or contact you within the next three days. So there is a three-day time limit. If they don't reply to your email, if they don't uh, make any actions or further verify their ownership of the business, then in that situation, you will be given ownership. If they do verify and they are uh, the rightful owner of the business, they will still keep access as the ownership of the listing. So they will keep ownership of the listing. And if they are uh, unable to verify that this is their business and they are the ones that actually own this listing, then the listing will be handed over to you after verification. So uh, you will have to verify that this is your business in any situation uh, because they're not just going to hand it to you just because you said so. Uh, but if you find that it is difficult, then you can just simply have a postcard sent to you and then verify within 14 days. So that is how simple and easy it is to get back your ownership. You don't have to worry about anything, whatever kind of brand you are running. And if you click on own this business, if your business is already signed up by someone else, then it's not going to be very difficult to get it back. All you have to do is click on over here, click on request access, and then you're just going to add the level of access that you need to this listing and you can claim ownership just like this. So you can just enter all that information and then request access to manage your business listing. And once you claim ownership, you can remove the other emails or any other person that has been linked to the listing as well. And if you don't have a listing on Google, I would recommend that you go on ahead and create one. You can see I have several different stores created and I'm just going to click on remove businesses to show you guys how to start from scratch. So you can see these are just businesses that I created as a few samples to show you guys, but uh, just to create a simple and easy kind of way to show you guys that if your business has ownership by someone else, you should not create a duplicate listing because if you create that, there's just going to be two listings of the same thing. People will be confused and they might confuse the illegitimate listing as the real listing as well so for that i always recommend instead of clicking on add single business don't go this route instead type your business name whatever business you have so you're just going to search for a business this is like the profile creation i'm going to click on manage now so we're going to click on one so i'm going to select this is the business that i want to manage and you can see this is already verified by someone but i'm going to click on request access and then i'm going to claim ownership of my business so whatever kind of business you might be running, you can claim ownership and make sure you're doing it with the email that you want. I have multiple emails. So whatever is the business email that you want to use to manage your business, you're going to select. make sure you have selected that as the one that you have logged on to via your Chrome account. So that is how simple and easy it is. I don't recommend that you get worried about having ownership delegated to someone else. You can easily reclaim it within 14 days with a simple postcard. And Google usually with a authentic listing is going to be very concise about about verification so you don't have to worry a lot and this simple process is going to take you a tiny amount of time to get back your listing. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to claim ownership of your business whatever business you might be running and if you did find this video helpful make sure to share it with other people as well because in from getting their business sabotaged by someone else or just you know having their business mismanaged so if you find that someone might use this video or if someone might find this video helpful make sure to share this video with them and if you want to find more content like this make sure to check out our youtube channel for more videos on how to manage your google business and how to set up your google business profile as well i have a detailed video on how to create a google business listing and how to add yourself on google maps so make sure to check those out as well and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video